Hi future managers, I'm back and took a short hiatus, but I wanted to cover a couple of things. First, we have, I reviewed every single midterm presentation. And though we've made steps, it has indicated to me we are a long way from finishing. Compared to past groups, we are a little behind uh, in terms of um, pulling it all together, really transmitting the information, and making it comprehensive. So there are some groups that are far ahead, but as a whole, the course is a little behind compared to other, other courses in the past. So here's some recommendations. Start continuously work ahead. You have milestone four due in a few weeks. This is a full draft booklet. I encourage you, each one of your group members, to go and see the examples and look at the examples in depth on issue.com. I expect each booklet to be very dynamic, to be engaging, and to show your story and your pitch in the learning journey you went through. Not only that, but you're expected to come up with a review or a general conclusion about your un understanding of management. Maybe how is your management, management, the thoughts that you have on management changed. Maybe how uh, some of the highlights that have impacted you the most, things that you feel are most important. Uh, is management of the past the same as management of the future and what does the management of the future look like? So these are some examples or questions that you can answer in that general conclusion uh, section. You also have to have a reflection for the group and a reflection for the individuals on what you learned and what the key takeaways and how you will implement these going forward in the future. So those are very important parts. So again, these have to be very dynamic booklets along with all the different parts that I have outlined in the different milestones. Go to Canvas. It talks to you about uh, what each one is, uh, what each section is. Remember, citations are important to highlight our credibility and where we're pulling this information. You are to expand considerably from Milestone 3. Many groups are still working through Milestone 3, but the bottom line is you have to, to, to make work smarter is to finish and complete as much of the work as possible because it'll be stressful at the end. I already know you guys haven't been uploading your videos to the YouTube channel consistently. You need to create a playlist in order to get credit. You need to have seven, at least seven episode videos in your playlist to receive credit. So again, it's not good enough just to upload them. They need to be, need to be in a playlist so we can find them and grade them and watch them. Um, I encourage you to work ahead. If you have an episode done, you should upload it and start your playlist. This will save time because I can guarantee that later on when everyone's uploading material at the last moment, things will slow down. Don't be stuck. Technology is not going to be a, an excuse that I permit in this class of why work was turned in late. So again, work ahead. You also have group evaluations going forward. I need you to answer and evaluate your colleagues honestly. This helps us help you by giving credit to where credit is due and not to credit where it's not due. Anyone who receives less than a five will indicate you're not meeting the group expectations and will receive a 10% um, uh, penalty for your final presentation. Okay? Again, I need you to continuously work ahead. We're a little behind in this class. I need you and your groups to work on creating the videos and the booklet and make them dynamic. So for instance, the videos need to demonstrate the concepts of management, and some groups have done a very good job. So this is not related to all groups, but others are doing the bare minimum and it's noticeable, and we don't deal with, we don't accept mediocrity. Look at the other examples that I've posted. You'll see how dynamic groups can be. You'll see even some of your colleagues creating some dynamic work. Go to the YouTube channel, watch them, Learn from them and see how it applies to your TV show. Do not wait until the last minute. Again, I look forward to the next milestone and the content that you're creating. We're inspiring the world. We have more than 20,000 views on our course YouTube channel. Think of Khan Academy, but think of Finger Puppet Management, educating the world about management through story and entertainment and student-created content. And we're using a very different learning approach through through video, creation of video or role play. Definitely different than what Khan Academy is doing, which is more or less a traditional lecture. So again, we're changing the world, we're having an impact, and we're doing it together. So I look forward to the content that you'll create and watching your videos.